First, it's happened again. Vandals climb up to an interstate road sign and leave graffiti on the sign. Uh, commuters heading home this evening on southbound I-35 can see it. New at 6, Brenda Lee Gonzalez shows us why KDOT has not been able to remove ladders to those signs that they say would prevent the recurring problem. A simple tag may seem harmless enough, but every single spray costs thousands of your tax dollars. Drive too quickly, and you just might miss the latest addition to I-35 South. Pass by exit 234 toward Rainbow Boulevard, and you'll mainly see what looks like scribble. The graffiti is small enough so drivers can still read where they're going, but that's not what Rick Looper sees. Me, I just see a mess. He and the rest of the Kansas Highway Maintenance Team only see a major headache. It's it frustrating. It's like, you know, hey, we got to go cover this up again. You know, we have to take our time out of our day from other projects that's priority and deal with these issues. One of the issues is money. The graffiti will cost $1,500 to repair. Last summer, it cost $6,500 to repair a set of signs near Southwest Boulevard and 37th Street. Three months later, the same signs were vandalized, costing another $1,500. Plus, it takes 10 people and hours to fix. It impacts traffic. You know, people have nowhere to go. The ladder and catwalk crews used to get up to these signs have now been removed in spots like 37th Street, but they remain on the latest sign to get tagged. Looper blames bad weather and timing for not having them removed sooner. We just got to make sure we keep our impact to the public very minimal. With more than 130,000 passing underneath these signs every day, Looper's certain someone's seen the vandals in action. And they can, you know, kind of, you know, let somebody know that they've seen them do this and maybe make them accountable. KDOT says for now they're going to focus on taking down the ladders and the catwalks on the signs that get hit the most. Reporting in Kansas City, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, 41 Action News.